Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd. Uh, coming at you with a uh, another video. In this video, I'm going to revisit a topic uh, that I uploaded a good while ago. And it actually got a good amount of coverage. Well, for me, on my tiny channel, it got a good amount of views. So if you're coming to my channel and you're viewing this video and you haven't watched my other videos... Just check my channel out. You might find some stuff you like. Now, okay, now that I got that part out of the way, uh, the um, topic I'm revisiting is vinyl versus. Is this stuff in my lap shifts around? I don't want you to see. The CD, right? Vinyl versus CD. Okay, so. Um, why am I revisiting this topic? Well, now I can speak with a little bit more authority on it than I could before. Um, you know, uh, now that I oh, because before I didn't really have any experience with a vinyl. I didn't own a turntable. I didn't have any records, so I couldn't really speak about it very much. Now I've dipped my toe into the vinyl hobby. I got a couple of records. I only have three. I'm not going to claim to be a huge expert, and I own a decent turntable now. So, um, I have a little bit of experience, and from dipping my toe in the hobby, I think um, these trends that I've noticed between the two formats are probably going to continue. So, uh, what now I'm going to talk about, you know, obviously the differences between the two uh, formats as I see them. First one I'm going to talk about is the big one. Everybody talks uh, a lot of vinyl um, proponents say, oh, the sound quality is so superior on vinyl than it is to CD. Well, let's talk about that. On this record here versus this, which are supposed to be the same mastering. I'm not convinced that they are the same mastering, whatever it's supposed to be. Um, I greatly preferred the sound of this vinyl to this CD. The vinyl just sounded a lot better. Uh, it had better sound stage, better definition, sounded more realistic. It, it just did. Period. It sounded better than this. Okay. Now, um, what's interesting though is uh, if you've been looking at my channel, uh, I've done some vinyl rip uploads of these records, right? And so, what I did is I then compared the vinyl to the vinyl rip recording that I did. And in theory, they should have sounded identical. And yes, I did volume match, folks. Whenever you do a comparison, always volume match. I use this uh, handy DB meter to do just that. Anyway, so um, I volume matched them, and this just sounded... <laughs> sorry. The CD, it sounded better. On the vinyl rip, though, the vinyl rip sounded better. The vinyl rip sounded like it had more definition, better clarity, cleaner, all that stuff. I don't know why that is. It just sounded better than the actual vinyl. In theory, they should have sounded identical because it was, you know, the rip of this fed into a line-in into a PC, but it sounded better than this did. Go figure, right? Uh, so I also then compared it to uh, basically the YouTube video that I uploaded uh, because when uh, you make the video in, you know, like Windows Movie Maker or whatever, it'll compress the, the uh, sound down. It won't be an uncompressed wave anymore. It compresses the sound down, probably to WMA or whatever, and it inserts it into the video. And then, of course, you upload it to YouTube, and then it does further compression with their algorithms and all that, blah, blah, blah. So then I compared this versus the YouTube video. And I preferred the sound of this by some. It wasn't a huge, it wasn't as big of a difference as one would think. But I did prefer the sound of the vinyl over the YouTube video uh, by a little bit. So there's that. Now... There's that album. Now, let's talk about, balance that, we don't want it to fall down. Now we're going to talk about this album here. I specifically bought this CD and, 
I can show it, right? I specifically bought this CD and this vinyl because I knew for a fact these are both the 2016 remastering of Ride the Lightning. They're identical as far as mastering goes. So I was like, okay, let's do, I wanted to do an apples to apples comparison instead of apples to orange. You want it to be the same mastering, that way you know what you're getting, right? So I paired these off against each other. And the thing was, on uh, this versus this, on some tracks, I preferred the CD. On some tracks, I preferred the vinyl. There was not really a clear winner between these two uh, releases here. They're sound quality wise, there just there wasn't. It was some sometimes this sounded better, sometimes this sounded better. Whatever, right? So then I of course compared this versus the vinyl rip, and again I preferred the vinyl rip. Better sound quality in the actual vinyl rip than when I was actually listening to the vinyl. And the same thing with the YouTube upload. I, I somewhat preferred the vinyl to the YouTube upload. So, what does this tell me about sound quality of vinyl being um, uh, this holy grail that a lot of folks describe it as? I don't think that that's the case. I think uh, basically from my experience of what I can say so far is vinyl certainly sounds different than digital. Um, not necessarily better or worse, just different. And I can also say that it's definitely a high fidelity uh, format. The sound quality can be quite good. Um, so on the sound quality front, I don't think it's a clear winner. Like a lot of folks do. A lot of vinyl proponents say, oh, it sounds just the best ever, blah, blah, blah. I disagree with that assessment. I think it sounds good. It certainly is high fidelity. It's certainly uh, good, but it doesn't blow me out of the water. Um, you know, that's just me. Your mileage, of course, may vary. Um, you know, I certainly like it. So, now... Uh, Sound quality one, getting out of the way. Now we're going to talk about uh, some of the other things about vinyl versus CD. Actually, guys, let me pause real quick. Okay, guys, now I'm going to move on to the next thing about uh, vinyl versus CD. And that is actually acquiring uh, said items. Uh, the cost of new vinyl is very cost prohibitive. Let me show you. I'm just going to show you here. What I bought for around sixty dollars at a uh, at, in an Fye music store. This is what I got for roughly sixty bucks, right? Deluxe edition of this album, a two for one album, standard edition album, st eh, whatever the uh, standard edition album of this and um, standard edition album of this, okay? So I got five albums, right? Five albums worth of music and, um, well, six albums because one's a double disc, but you know, whatever, six, six CDs for about 60 bucks, okay? Now, if I had bought vinyl at the same FYE, the average price of most of the vinyl was around 30 bucks for one album. 30 bucks. Okay. So instead of getting six discs, I would have walked out with only two. In fact, some of their vinyl was like $50. So a few of their albums were like 50 bucks for like an album. Ridiculous. Um, and you, their prices are a little bit higher than Amazon or whatever, but they're not usually insanely high. It's, it's usually uh, in the same range. So as far as buying new, okay, versus, you know, buying new, the cost, CD has it all over vinyl all day long. It beats the shit out of vinyl, right, it, uh, as far as price goes. Uh, and 
as far as used vinyl goes. Now, as you can tell, I'm a big metal fan, right? Uh, and a lot of people talk about buying vinyl for a buck or two real cheap. Metal doesn't tend to show up at Goodwill very often, okay? Or places that sell... I'm probably not going to find a whole lot of metal records out there for one or two dollars. It's not likely to happen. Um, and due to the high cost of new vinyl, I mostly plan on buying used vinyl. Uh, I probably will do well at uh, places like Half Price Books, uh, record stores, and flea markets. The cost will be much more reasonable there. I mean, uh, used vinyl, I might spend like eight or nine bucks on it. I'm willing to spend that. That's not a huge sum of money. Um, that's certainly what I would call reasonable. I'm willing to spend that much to get a record that I want. Uh, but it is a little bit of a disadvantage, at least now this isn't for everyone. If you like the type of music that you can find at Goodwill for a buck on vinyl, you're going to have a, a, a field day. But for me, for my musical tastes, there's not a whole lot of used vinyl out there that's super, super, super cheap. So the cost factor, CDs have it all over vinyl. Um, now, uh, and as far as which format actually has more practical use, again, I'm going to have to give it to CDs because they, um, again, like I said, they can be very easily copied onto your computer. And you can copy it onto your phone, upload it to the cloud, listen to it anywhere. Yes, you technically can do that with vinyl, but it's a huge pain in the ass. You have to rip the whole album, separate it into tracks, manually put in the tags, manually do... If you want to go through all that, you can. But it's definitely nowhere near as uh, simple as ripping CDs. So, um, and again, on the sound quality thing, one thing else I noticed is I think with CDs... The sound quality is much more consistent. A CD is pretty much going to sound like a CD no matter... Well, CD is going to sound like a CD. Well, vinyl is going to sound like a vinyl too. Basically, um, it's going to sound exactly the same on every single playback. There won't be any variance in the sound quality unless it's skipping or whatever. But aside from that, digital is always going to sound the same every single time. It's not going to vary in sound quality. Vinyl might, uh, especially, you know, if your needle's messed up or the record's messed up or dirty or whatever. So, um, I think for consistency, CD and digital definitely has it over vinyl as well. Now, that being said, am I having fun? Now, the most important question is, am I having fun with the vinyl hobby? The answer to that question is yes. So far, I am finding it fun to dip my toes into the vinyl hobby. Um, and I think it's, if you are a person who enjoys collecting music, it's probably worth your while to at least investigate vinyl. Um, basically, I, 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 but to me, it's going to kind of be a sideline. I think my main focus will always be CDs and digital. It just will for a lot of reasons. That doesn't mean, though, I don't enjoy vinyl. I do do enjoy vinyl, but I still have a preference for CDs and digital. That's just me. Anyway, um, I hope that this shed some, sheds some light on the subject uh, for some folks out there. Feel free to agree, disagree, tell me I'm a moron. Whatever floats your boat. So anyway, I want to say thanks a whole lot for watching, and uh, that wraps us up. Uh, as always, if you did like what you see, please thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you guys next time.